And save over that. Now he has a dark look on his face. Do I have any other items for anything? Oh yeah. We still have a bloody key from the cat. The fuck was this bloody key for? Maybe I'm going towards a bad ending right now. Maybe I needed to do whatever this was for to something. It's true, I got this bloody key some time ago and I haven't done anything with it. It's the only item I have that could potentially mean anything. However, I'm gonna keep I'm just gonna do what the game suggests and get the bad ending if it really is a bad ending or this is what I'm supposed to do. Not to the basement. Over here. What the? Sounded like a woman's voice. Could it be Fluffy's mother? So she did come for him. That's good. I must have passed Fluffy by. The voice came from the clinic side. I'll go check it out. The clinic side. That's over here, right? Yeah, it is. Where is she? Will open is in here. Emergency to add the door will open. Locked. Locked. Isn't the door that's been closed downstairs? Oh yeah, it is. There's a door open here. I won't save there yet. Who's that over there? Hey, who are you? Huh? Mo Mom? Davy, why do you abandon me? Th that's not. Mom, how could you be here? I hate hospitals. You're my family, yet you abandon me. No! Y you were sick, Mom! So... So you left me? My own family couldn't stand me anymore. No! You were wrong! Who are you? You my mom couldn't possibly be here. Why are you pretending to be her? It hurts, Davy. Just like it did then. Are you going to try and kill me again? It hurts so much, Davy. Ah! ah! Who are you? Why are you in my house? What did you do with my husband? Answer me. Mom, please stop. You keep saying things like that. Dad just went out, okay? Did you forget? Shut up, intruder! I don't know anyone like you. I'll call the police on you. Stop it. Don't tell me you're already gone senile. Please, take a rest for today. I'm tired from work. 
Just tell me if I'm a bother. <laughs> shut up! Keep your mouth shut! Get out of uh, Do you think I know you? Get out of here! Stop! What are you saying? Did I do something wrong? Please, just tell me if I did something wrong! Are you teasing me? Because it's not funny! Please, Mom! Quiet! I'm not your mother. I don't know you. Get out! Enough. Murder! Somebody! Murder! David! Oh, this is Paul. David! Hey, what are you doing? Hey, stop! Let go! Hey, you're trying to kill her? David! It appears to be... It appears... Let's see. I had a voice for this guy earlier. It appears to be a brain tumor. It's putting much pressure on her brain. Sudden changes in behavior, violent actions, and memory loss can be signs of brain illness. It's not your fault. Don't be distraught. In some cases, counseling to resolve friction in the family can uncover an illness. Maybe I shouldn't say this, but this kind of thing happens all the time. If we had noticed a little sooner... Back to the topic of your mother. She appears to be very weak. We'll have to postpone the operation for now. We've hospitalized her for the time being, and her condition will influence our decision. Hopefully, it won't be long. Please come by to see her often. Even if she doesn't seem to know you, she is family. No! We're not family anymore. Don't say we are. If I hadn't been stopped just like that, I would have. I would never have been forgiven for it. There really was, there really was hatred in me. And it's true, I've abandoned her in the hospital. She was my only family. My precious family who cared for me after my father left and yet I my wishes never come true. My dreams, love, even family all go away. Alright. I can't have anything that's not crooked. What have I been searching for? I don't have to anymore. It's obvious now. There's only one way from the very beginning. Scene 3. Central Hospital. Fluffy. End. Make a new save file here. I feel like I'm going towards a bad ending. Alright, let's resume this. Oh, damn it. David hasn't answered a single call. What is he up to and where? Paul? What do we do? I knew we shouldn't have left David alone. Marion, get a hold of yourself. Calm down. How can I be calm about this? David. David's so worn out from things with his mother and Shirley. He's even suffering over old wounds. I was always scared for him. Scared we'd really do something there and there was no turning back from. I suggested moving to get his mind clear, but that didn't help, now did it? It wasn't a bad idea, but it was a mistake for me to pick that place. Huh? 
Damn it, I'll call again. If he doesn't answer, we're calling the police. What do you mean? Why would the room? Ah, uh, don't tell me ghost stories at a time like this. Always talking about you see things and... Uh... David! David, where are you? Uh, Central Hospital. Well, why are you way over there? Listen, I'm going there, so wait for me. Don't so, don't so much as move a muscle. Don't come. Please don't. Leave me alone. David? Hey, David! Damn it. It'd take about a day to get to that place on my motorcycle. Marion, I'm going to see David. I'm going with you. No, you don't understand. I love David. I need to save him. <laughs> uh, I can't just ignore him at a time like this. All right, let's go. We'll be two badass newlyweds on the motorcycle. Works for him. David's car. He's gotta still be here. Okay, come on, Marion. It's dark, so stay close behind me. Right. Alright. David's car, let's go in. Now we're playing as Paul and Marion. Huh. Were those footsteps? They were from upstairs. That you, David? Think I'm to go to Cuckoo Crazysville. Let's go up here. The door doesn't seem to be busted. Oh, I can see the busted song. David isn't in here. Marion, stay close. We're running around in circles. I'm gonna look for our favorite friend, David. What will they say if they see this? There's dark red. They have no response to it, apparently. We need to run around and look for David. Alright, next floor. So much to check out. In here? No, he does not appear to be here. Make them read things. Yeah, kind of creepy for an abandoned place. Uh, let's see. The cat thing was over here, wasn't it? Yeah. Dead cats. A dead cat. The stomach has been cut open. Oh no. That's awful. You don't think David... Oh, come on! Why would he do something like that? Must have been some crazy dude. My god. Don't look, Marion. It's not good for your health. Alright. Over this way. We'll check out the other places. Come on, Marion. We'll do this the hard. Oh. Who's there? What are you doing here? There. Uh. Girl? Hey, what are you doing in this old place? You hate sissies like me, don't you? Wait. That is sissy. Sissy! What are you doing here? Uh, to be honest, I kind of forgot you almost existed. You hate sissies like me, don't you? Huh? But your friend is important to you, right? Hey, what the heck are you? What's this about? Go see him. Man, the hell was that? Door seems to be busted. Nothing inside the trunk. The only thing up here would be the vomit room and this room. Doesn't seem to be anything in there, so let's try the vomit room. Guess there's nothing here. Back down I go. Unless, of course, there's something I'm missing here, but I, I think I checked everything that's open around here. So more places to check. 
Huh. All the exploration. Huh? Someone's else. David? Hey, who are you? Oh, it's Steve. Yo! The hell? What are you doing here all alone? Hey, he's your friend, right? Go on and save him. Tell him the truth. Huh? The truth? What? I'm counting on you. Uh, what? Why are there so many people here? I don't get it. <laughs> I'm going to save a file here because I'm doing this. David's in the basement, but I'm going to go uh, first to the top floor to see if anything happens. There was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. Uh, a kid? Don't tell me there's a kid wandering here. He found a crooked expense of on a crooked style. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse. Get kid, what are you doing? And they all live together in a little crooked house. Hey, you listening to me? Then he had a crooked thought. Why is crookedness my lot? Why must I be crooked instead of being not? So the crooked man would cry. And he couldn't fathom why he was sad all the time, and he sighed. And so he... David's waiting for you. Go see him. Hey! What was with him? Why do you know David? Did he meet him? Forget about it. Let's go, Marion. Marion, what's up? Stop it. Are you teasing me? Don't you know this isn't the time for that? Oh, Marion. What do you mean, teasing you? Just who do you keep talking to? Huh? Stop trying to spook me. I know there wouldn't be anyone here. We just need to find David. No jokes. Ah. Uh -huh. So that's it, huh? Marion, go and leave the hospital. Sorry for uh trying to spook you. Don't worry, I'll find David. Wait, I'm staying with you. If anything happens, I'd be putting us both in danger. Please, just trust me. All right. Please, come back quickly. Right. Just wait for me, David. This way, is he on top of the roof? I actually thought he was gonna be inside the basement, but the roof seems likely now. David, what are you doing out there? I should probably look around a bit more, but I'm going to go do this first. So I think this is probably what I should do. So I find something else. David! Paul? Why? Why are you here? Come to pick you up. I'll ask for a good explanation later. For now, you're coming home. Come on to good old Paul! Forget about me. Just leave me alone. Hey, Dave! Stay away! David, you... Uh, I'm hopeless. 
I keep walking, but I see nothing. I'll never, ever be happy. I'm... I'm a crooked man. No matter what, that's what I'll be. And those are the only things I'll have. David, what, what, that's... Agony. Living is agony. Nothing will go how I want it. So, right here, right now... David! Persuade, take gun, punch. What do you guys think we should do? What do you guys think? But punch is gonna be the good ending. I know it's gonna be the good ending. I'm gonna try and persuade him so I'm gonna get the bad ending in him first. I know you've had it really rough. I'm your best bud after all. I'm always trying to help you out. And it might be hard now, but tides can change. Good things can still happen. No, I know they will. Whatever happens, I'll help you. So, shut up! I knew this would be the bad ending. Who? <sighs> Do you think you are? You wanna help me? Good things will happen? They never have. It was all for nothing. So I... D David, stop, don't say that. Who are you? Huh? I don't know you. And you couldn't know me. The only one who understands me was him. D David? You're. But I only realized in my last moments. Out of my sight, hypocrite. David! David! Bad end three, goodbye my friend. I knew that'd be a bad ending and I'm happy I got that quickly. Now anyways though, let's go for the next ending. This one. David! Paul? Why are you here? This whole thing, and maybe they were dead, and then they just need help. Maybe apparently only I and him, Paul, and I can see it. So then he pulls the gun. David means friend. I love him. So let's see. So let's see. Uh, now let's choose a different option for this part. And the crooked man appears. Now I know agony. Now we're going to take the gun. He's probably going to shoot me, though, which I guess is what's going to happen. Well, that's why I'm going to do it. Take the gun. Why, you? Why do you have a gun anyway? Give me that! Stop. Let go. Just leave me be. Afraid I can't do that, David. You're my... Stop. So that one coming. Uh-huh. What? What? Paul! Oh. D did I... Did I just shoot you? I, I didn't... Uh, no! I, 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 I really... C kill... I can't stop pumping your body... Uh, uh. No, David, not your fault. I tried to grab a gun. It was all my funny. It's not 
your fault. I love you, David. David, you're not a bad guy. I'm sorry, Paul. Bad end. Not your fault, David. Now, I knew punching was going to be the right answer, so now we do that. Load from there. And go out. Double kill for the last ending. Anyways, so, though, uh, let's see. Let's get through all this. Yeah, the same thing happen. Leaving alone. I know. <laughs> you mean that'd be funny though. You're not a bad guy, just kind of an asshole. <laughs> he's not actually an asshole though, he's been helping people most of the game. He just came in when he's been a bit more where we're learning that he's not as nice of a guy as we thought he was. So yeah, he is kind of an asshole, but He's not a bad person, if that makes any sense. Anyways, though, let's have this happen. Now we make a choice, and now we punch him. David, punch. You know, like that sort of charge punch thing. Huh? Ow! You damn monster! Get away from David! Hey! Ow! Ow! So stop! Oh yeah! Like that. That hurts! Stop, you moron! David or David, you back with us? Don't say that like I went nuts. I think you disagree with the other endings. If you're... I've been saying from the start, like hell. If that's the kind of thing you do saying, I'll have to paint you up till you promise not to. Huh. Now, about this stuff you've been doing, you better tell me everything that happened. With smoke. Hmm. Sissy, D and Fluffy, and that crooked monster. Oh, so you believe in the monster? That's my occult fanatic. That's my occult fanatic. Well, you see, it's not extremely fantastic. Don't I always tell you that I see it? You and Maria never believe me. See, she's... I almost said that wrong. Anyway, about CCD and the kiddo. I think I met him. Huh? That's ridiculous. Fluffy, maybe, but CC and D wouldn't be here. Listen up, David. People's consciousness, they sort of stick around in places. More of your occult stick. You're, you're seriously making fun of the occult after this. Just listen to no jokes. So you've had it pretty similar to the guy who used to live in your own room, right? Shattered dreams, bad breakup, family trouble. When I first looked at this place, it was fine. But once you moved in, I had this strange feeling. From you and from the room. I'd have to guess this guy's consciousness and you were a perfect match. Gotta be why you wanted to meet the guy too. And I will let anyone take you away from me, David. You're mine. So, you're saying he's calling me? Yep, and you're unconsciously responding. Some people are soft-hearted to the core and always sympathize with others. And they get taken advantage of the most. Taken advantage of? Look, don't I barely know him? You know a little from the stuff he left. Plus, that was all stuff you could you could identify with. So, what would you think of a guy who's the spinning image of you? Would you hate him or like him? 
I don't know. I'm guessing both. Same as him. Think back. This crooked man tried to kill you. Tried to drag you with him. But on the other hand, weren't there people who relied on you? Who wanted your help? What? Oh. He hated you, but he liked you. It's like any typical romance. He thought he could share his suffering in suffering with you, so he was seeking your help. And that's why you met these people. That's what I'm thinking. Honestly, I'm not sure if it's alright. It's not... It's not quite right. He wasn't seeking my help. He... He helped me. Got me back on my feet. Again, that's you and him being similar. Hmm? What's up? There's something in my pocket. When did I pick this up? An address. And I don't think it's that far. I'm going. I have to meet him. You could always not. What if something happens? I feel like if I don't go, the crooked man will follow me forever. So I'm going. Fucking hate that crooked guy. David! You come back to us safe. I... I want to go to my friend's funeral. <laughs> I can't live without you, man! I love you. Yeah, I know. Thanks. Scene 4. Central Hospital, Paul. End. Now save here.